Structural engineering is one of the oldest fields of civil engineering and we see its application every day around us in form of you know all the modern and old uh, structures. The field is definitely not saturated. In fact, uh, there is constant research needs associated with analysis and design of structural systems that are more safe, that are more economical, as well as more sustainable. And there is a large scope of research, both experimental and analytical, at this, on this front. The other field that requires uh, a lot of attention is performance prediction of structures under extreme events, such as earthquakes, uh, hurricanes, or even blast loads. Uh, with growing uh, populations living in urban regions as well as growth in the built environment, we have more and more people who are uh, living in as well as more and more buildings that are being constructed in regions that are exposed to these extreme events. And if it is very critical to know how our structures will behave under these extreme events so that we can predict what losses can be experienced, what damage can be experienced and this will further help us in identifying vulnerable structures and expected damages so that proper risk mitigation techniques can be carried out such as retrofit of structures or updation of building codes. And uh, all of these help towards ensuring better public safety as well as lower economic losses when these extreme events would actually occur. Now, uh, the third topic, uh, which again uh, has a lot of scope in future research, is structural health monitoring of structure during its service life. Just ensuring the structure is safe during design is not enough. As the structure ages, uh, you know, it experiences, it loses strength because of factors such as corrosion or also extreme events such as earthquakes. So it, there is a need to investigate structural health monitoring techniques for efficient damage detection of these structures so as to ensure the structures are still safe. And uh, there is also, I want to emphasize that structural engineering is not just uh, studying mechanics of these big structures such as bridges or buildings. There is also need to study or there is a lot of uh, scope of research in study of mechanics of other smaller structures such as biological structures. So India is a developing economy and for its growth there is a need for wide, uh, wide scale construction of you know different infrastructure facilities such as bridges, airports, uh, power plants, and seaports, and all of these structures. In fact, our government is intending to extensively invest in these development projects over the next decade, which will help in developing our country further. And also at the housing front, because we have a rising population, there is also need for low cost and safe housing for accommodating all of our population. So all of this new construction requires collaboration between both researchers as well as people in industry, in structural engineering to come together and come up with innovative solutions. This is as far as project, uh, scope of structural engineering is concerned with modern projects, modern construction, new construction. We also have a lot of older construction that requires investigation. We have many older buildings, older bridges that were designed as per older design standards or they have undergone a lot of deterioration over time. It is important to study the safety of these bridges and buildings for their current state and for the current loads that are acting on them so as decisions related to whether to repair them, retrofit them or demolish them can be taken. And this is an important uh, study that needs to be done by structural engineers in both academia as well as industry along with policy makers to ensure uh, safety of the public. Other type uh, of older structures uh, that also need investigation are our heritage structure. We in India have a very rich cultural heritage and we have several heritage structures that represent that. Over time, many of these heritage structures have undergone uh, you know, a structural deterioration as well as uh, some of these structures are located in regions that are exposed to extreme events such as earthquakes. 
So it is necessary to ensure their safety and preserve them by coming up with innovative solutions to repair and strengthen them. The list of ongoing research projects in structural engineering is quite extensive and actually would require a web series of its own. So I will try to summarize uh, some of the, them and again this list is not very comprehensive. Uh, one of the topics on which active research currently is going on is performance prediction of structures under extreme loads or extreme uh, during extreme events such as earthquakes, hurricanes, blasts. Uh, these type of analysis involve two components. Uh, first part is basically quantifying these extreme loads that are acting on the structure and the second part is predicting the response of the structure under loads from these extreme events using different analytical and experimental methods. Uh, the studies also tell us a lot about risk and reliability of the structures under these extreme loads. Uh, my research group is also involved in uh, predicting uh, response of structure under extreme events. In fact, one of the projects we are currently working on involves uh, studying the structural collapse capacity of uh, typical buildings in India that are located in highly seismic region, how their collapse capacity will vary when they are subjected to uh, you know, expected earthquakes. Uh, some other topics of uh, the active research worldwide consist of uh, techniques for structural health monitoring and uh, structural control methods, um, study, uh, study of uh, fatigue, uh, fracture mechanics as well as mechanics of biological structures. So computer softwares have actually become an integral part of structural engineering. Uh, we have several analysis and design softwares that are commercial as well as open source that are available uh, for structural engineers uh, to use and they are quite popular because they allow you to do advanced analysis in a very quick manner and uh, it, it makes it very easy and makes it very simple. But I would also like to emphasize here that uh, these softwares should not be used as a black box. It is very important to have strong fundamentals in structural engineering concepts such as structural mechanics, uh, solid mechanics, uh, structural design so that you are aware of what inputs you are giving into these softwares and you are aware of what is happening inside the software and you are correctly able to interpret the results from these softwares. So my interest in structural engineering started from my B.Tech days. Uh, when I was a B.Tech student, uh, I really enjoyed learning you know, the basic structural engineering uh, classes such as uh, structural mechanics, solid mechanic, uh, structural design. And I was very lucky uh, to have a group of excellent teachers that got me more interested and motivated about structural engineering. Uh, based on my interest in these topics, I decided to explore structural engineering further during my uh, bachelor's by taking some advanced electives such as earthquake engineering, uh, finite element method, as well as I also did some uh, projects during my bachelor's in structural engineering during my third and final year. Uh, and all of this whole process helped me in uh, taking the decision regarding pursuing structural engineering for higher studies and uh, for life. So with that, uh, I have continued working in structural engineering.